Using Super Soul Reaction as a counter to a move is a strong tactic in Street Fighter and in Street Fighter 6 with the addition of 3 separate supers per character it's really good to utilize these supers for more than just combos. In this video I will show you how to do super fast supers using 2 different buffering techniques. The first one is a little flawed but easier to do and the second one is a little bit harder to do but is less susceptible to counterplay. We will focus on 2 times quarter circle forward supers in this video, but I will also show examples at the end of how you can buffer other supers. The first method is just inputting down, down, forward, forward, down, down, forward, forward quickly while anticipating an opponent's move, so that when you see the move that you're looking for, you just press your button to get the super out instantly. The drawback to this method is that you are stuck in one place as you're buffering, and you're likely to move a little bit forward when buffering. This might put you in unwanted ranges and allow the opponent to more easily start their game plan. The second method is done by continuously inputting half circle forward. A half circle forward is done by inputting back, down back, down, down forward, forward. So you keep inputting this while moving around and when you see the opponent's move that you want to counter with the super, you simply press your button for an instant super. The great part about this technique is that it allows you to move around and position yourself while you are buffering. So buffering like this you are still moving relatively normal and you will not put yourself in the opponent's range if you don't want to, while also being ready to do a super at any time. If you have negative edge enabled, holding the button for your super will allow you to simply release the button to get an instant super while you're buffering. This will allow you to not get unwanted normals in case you missed your buffer. You can also use the parry button to perform the super. This is really good so that in case you missed your buffer inputs, you get a parry instead of a button that might get hit. In this video, I used the 2 times quarter circle forward super input as an example. But the same techniques can be applied when trying to buffer the 2 times quarter circle back super input. You will then need to reverse the input. For the regular buffering technique, it will be down, down, back, back, down, down, back, back. And for the other technique, you will need to input half circle back by doing forward, down, forward, down, down, back, back, continuously. It's not just the quarter circle forward or quarter circle back motion that can be buffered. Even supers that require an up input like Zangief level 3 can be buffered. You will then need to buffer it behind something, for example a button. The trick is to press a button and then buffer the super during the total frames of that button. And then press your button again for the super to come out should you see something that you can catch with it. Thanks a lot for watching. I really hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, feel free to like the video. If you got anything to say, just comment away. And I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and until next time.